Are they? Yeah, it looks good. It's got yeah. wood on each side. Yeah. Right. Are you aiming to get it about like an inch? Is that what you Well, for? the longer, the better, the more cambial contact yeah. you've got, the better your actual final junction. Oh, okay. The stronger it is. Mm. If it's really tiny. Yeah, it will. It could, it, I mean, for the first year plus, it's very soft, that cambial contact. Yeah. It gradually, of course, expands and tightens mm. up. But uh, initially, the better the longer yeah the so you better. want as, as much so, surface contact you know, as possible so the, yes that's about the max. So, so once the cambian layer joins yes what does the rest of it also fuse like a no. bone no 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 it's oh, only yeah. that living layer that fuses right. so oh, it's terribly important that these if you remember this thin green line just under yeah. the bark there mm -hmm. that that is touching on both of them but it, but it still keeps the rest of it alive, doesn't it? Even though it, the well, top that's the only living layer. Right. This middle layer is dead, dead wood, literally. Really? Yes. So in the grass, that's how it works then? Yes. I didn't have a clue, yeah. No, that's fine. That's what, hopefully, it's something you hear from the <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Am, am I right in thinking that all of the wood that grows beyond the graft is mer properly merged together? Yeah, then? well, if beyond, yes. Yeah. Because that can be a layer right, and it yeah. dies. It, the, it's uh, produced the phloem on the inside, the xylem on the inside of the phloem, the food one on the outside, mm -hmm. and that carries on outwards, yes. Right, right. Yes, so it gets yeah. stronger each year. Right. Yeah. So, so, so it's not dead wood then? What's above the, what's above the graft is... is yeah. a lot, yes. Well, what's inside of the What's Cambrian the inside layer the Cambrian layer, layer? This bit in here is all dead. Right, yeah. so it is dead, yeah? Yes. So like the, the fifth bit in the middle, right? Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. That's interesting, yeah. yeah. So, so that's the initially that's initially the and how do, how uh, water conducting pipes, mm -hmm. but gradually they die off and move further towards the outside. So you get the so-called heartwood. So, uh, okay. how how does it affect then the how does a, a grafted tree compare with a um, an ungrafted tree in terms it's of? It's never going to be as strong. Right. Mm -hmm. But, right, uh, so, so it's just like a, a weakness, it's like... Can be, a weak, uh, yeah. it depends how good the graft is and the, you know, sort of things like that. But you Because they still you... grow, they still grow, don't oh, they? Oh, they grow fine, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So if I took a hardwood cutting of just that, it, it would turn into a, a pendragon but an unpredictable size tree? Um, oh. the, the, I have tried, all, all the yeah. signs yeah. I've had left, I've yeah. bunged in, yeah. even on bottom heat. Yeah. And they're not taken. I haven't had really? wow. any any take. Right, wow. I've had some that you know for the first year look as if they're on their way, mm. and then never come back right. into leaf on the second. So obviously not adequate root, because yeah. you know I haven't touched them just in case they mm. damaged any yeah. <laughs> yeah. roots that were forming. If the wood's dead in the middle, yeah. right? How how does it grow? Does it expand? It, that? it, it grows outwards. It, uh, Upwards with the energy coming from the roots and and the leaves, it grows upwards. But a tree, as it grows, becomes wider, mm -hmm. bigger circumference. So is that so the bit that you initially cut, that bit will, will then not that, no, grow up, so that bit will grow out and the often, rest will grow. Often you can see where the graft was, the yeah, big yeah, lump yeah. near the bottom oh, of the tree. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got we've got a cherry tree that's like being grafted. Yeah, I think it were wild cherry rootstock, yes, and then the right. above it were a, a, a a, an edible cherry. cherry. Yes. But but it look, seems to be living. I'm, I'm wondering how it can grow if it's not if well, it's only the cambium layer that survives. It's how, the cambium layer is the is the living dividing layer. Yeah, the living dividing layer. Yes. So that but as the, soon as those two join, yeah, your top bit will produce leaves and grow. Right, right. Okay. And will that stay the same? Will that stay the same on the inside as if it was? It will. It then behaves as if it were just. Okay, cool. So tree. it's just the lower half that then dies off the. the no, it's bit. just a, just the yeah, yeah, as it does on in a growing tree. Okay, cool. All right, right, right. so, it's yeah. not so the next thing we need to do is, if you remember, we do our mm -hmm. tongue. So about a third of the way from the top, and. Just rock the knife, just let the knife do the work because it then saves 
if by any chance you get onto the grain <laughs> it shoots down and that's why because I've been doing it before we had safety gloves <laughs> that's why this thumb is here because that actually holds the knife mm -hmm. away from my hand so about a third down and then exactly the same on here so about a third of the way from the top here and then about a third of the way down and whenever you're demonstrating I always find it's very tempting to push and of course <laughs> that's the time it shoots down the grain right there we are and then look at the sort of side and you can see that you open you can open the tongues and then they slide together like that no, I mean a lot of people are perfectly capable of doing it, but not always willing to to you know teach a group. Yeah. I think that's the thing. Yeah, it's like it's kind of slipped on one side. It's just. I think the tongues the tongues fray when you take it apart. I think. I think it had just got bent in the course of things that taken around. Oh. And the tongue's now. A little bit skewer falls. But it's alright, isn't it? So will that hold like that then? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. Your tongue's fray when you take them apart. Right. Usually, so I'll, I'll have if to you do make a mistake, it's best to just start cut it off and start again. Yeah. So the next thing that we do to make sure that they're held tightly together is this is the tape so about that much <laughs> <laughs> and so the way that I do it is take that tail over the top of what I'm going to work with and then I can take it down and hold it and then you just doesn't matter if this. Uh, so yeah, when I had to go, I was wondering about how you fastened it on. <laughs> yes, so then go round and pull this nice and tightly, and then you know, any sort of failure of them being tight together will hopefully be minimised. Mm -hmm. come down to where my tail was and I can just tie it off with a knot preferably just for, for, for it looking pretty reef knot <laughs> so you, you weave the wrap it round up once and then back down right down, down yes yes yeah nice. <laughs> yeah that was the bit I was a little yes of, sorry uh, if I hadn't explained that properly but you say a, re a reef knot yes is that especially left tight? Left over right and right over left. Right. Are shoelaces right. classed as reef knots? You know the first you know, bit of your shoelace? Yeah. You know the that's, that's one half of it, and then if you do that same, same action, same back to the yeah. front, front, and that's it. First oh. one. Yeah. Yes, and then you do, do then the opposite, the, opposite, opposite the other way. Opposite way. Okay. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to try and, I'm gonna, like that's a good, you set me off on the right the direction there, guys. Yeah. Yeah. See with that, yeah. Right, so. It just feels you still about yeah. Yeah. Just got through the gap there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it feels very sturdy. Yeah, it does feel really sturdy now. So, you know, pass it around, give it a... It'll come... Yes. What I want is for you to feel that it really is... Yeah, it's kind of, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 The only snag is my thumb doesn't like doing it oh, these that's, days. That's well me. secure, that. Very yeah, secure. That's why I, I yeah. Right, pass it. <laughs> give it a good tug. See how easy or otherwise it is to... Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> no. Kick her out. No, that's what that would take quite a lot of effort. Yes, exactly. I could see you were really tugging. So when when uh, it comes to doing Sorry. your, uh, you know, trying your own, when we're practicing with wood, we pull it apart. When we're doing it for real, of course. We don't pull yeah. it apart. <laughs> so. Uh,
the other thing that we can do is do you want me to show you now or do you want to practice this first is when we're joining yeah, a thin bit there, to a yeah. thick Let's bit see that tongue bit um yeah I'd, I'd like to practice that oh there it yes? is yes yeah. no i mean so you need to practice first well, so. this, this one here that i'll comes show you that now oh, there it is right mm. and that sort of fits in so nice in it isn't easy to get them back together, no, is it? No, it's, yeah, yeah, I was no, the trick is like. actually, if you push that, can you see how the tongue opens? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure how and much pressure I should get to that, well, just in case I didn't want to... <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. You can find out. So, you see, if you can actually do that and they're far enough apart... Uh, yeah, like, just give them a And, and if you're really them. desperate, you can just give that one a little tweak mm -hmm. to open them like that. Are they quite robust, then, when you, once you're handling them? Yeah, but it's just that you can see how it start, it's frayed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And on there, uh, especially in this particular wood, has got a, a central pith to mm -hmm. it, so those make it more difficult. Do a little bit, and a thick bit. I'll take that this way. I'll take that end off, so we're so we're back on. Uh -huh. Right. So again, we do this just as we. Sorry, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so again, just the same. Uh, when we're doing this, just be a little more careful. Just take a look at the side that you're not coming out. Mm -hmm. The far side. That you're just actually doing a tongue there because it's awfully easy to suddenly shoot out there yeah. just as it is to shoot down the grain. And would you still do it about a centimetre long? Or? So, about you know, the longer the better, as always, always just because you get that bigger junction. And you know, a bigger junction is much more stable than a. And, and you definitely want it sort of where the little. Um, with the bud behind is supposed to be the. I don't know the real truth of this, but that's what they say, <laughs> so that's what we do. So then measure the other piece, and I need to go from about there. Now this time, we need to, I've just nicked it there where it's at, you see. Mm -hmm. This time, we only need to want to get it the width of this other piece. So oh, okay. I'm just going to do, if, we want, if we're doing a really, really thin one, you just essentially skim the bark off. Okay, so use a really flat knife. And would that take as well as, say, if you were doing it half and half? It, it, not as well, mm. but after uh, with time, the top here yeah. seals over mm. and the whole thing uh, is it's perfectly fine mm -hmm. later on. So, actually, just take a look at the difference of those two. So you wouldn't need to put it like 50 to pick on this. Yeah. It's, wider, it's, it's it? the yeah. outside of your thin one goes to the outer bit of your cut right. of the other because it's always that nice. green so line under the bar right. okay. is, the, is the bit you're matching always. So not the piss, no. Yeah. Piss dead, no, forget his cut. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <It's not taking laughs> <a piss. laughs> so, so I think I need to take a bit more. It, it's excellent at the bottom but I think I need to take a bit more right. off yeah. as we come up. But I just thought, you know, if you'd like to take a look at it. Yeah, yeah. It's always good to see. You know, if you want to just, well, then you can see what you, hopefully, yeah, realise what you're so doing. It's got yeah, some yeah. from that there, isn't it? That's so, it, exactly. It needs to come, it's good down at the bottom, but it needs to come wider as I come up. Mm -hmm. So, I'll just, I'll just see how well or otherwise I can manage that. Kind of just like tailoring it to the It other is, part, really. exactly. So then, if I, what I do is put it together, mm -hmm. and if you just slide it out, you just see. I think we're pretty. You take it in your own hands and maul it. <laughs> it's, uh, and will that expose then just cover over in time? Eventually, yes. So, wait, so how come that is the right thick on the end there? Because that's your thick piece and it doesn't matter. Okay. So is it, is it a different type of graph now? It's a different type of Right, I'm sorry. I'm no, this is what putting a thin bit onto a thick root stock. Right. All right. Okay, okay. Would, would you seal the top of the thick bit with... Uh, that's what I was just thinking. Well, uh, 
you, you just just, just with the tape. Uh, yes, just right. across, yes. Yeah. But the important thing is that you seal the lenticels on your sign, which is the thin bit, right. and it's got no moisture coming into it, whereas your rootstock mm. has got the roots bringing moisture up. Mm -hmm. right. And until that mm. cambia layer has joined, mm. this top's just sitting there. Right, yeah. yeah. So you're encouraging capillary action, basically, rather than it just drying out through the... Well, you're just stopping it actually drying out yeah. until you've actually got that cambial junction. Yeah. You're not getting any mo any new moisture into it. Yeah. Mm. And, and how long does it take, roughly, for that to st uh, join up? A couple up? of weeks. Okay, oh. right. Oh, so that's time, why yeah. it's important to get it when it's dormant, isn't it? So yeah, exactly. That Yes, yeah. that's right, so it's it not can... losing moisture. Yeah. So we're on to a second graph, so what... A different the... type. This is a thin scion onto a thicker rootstock. Mm -hmm. Right, and the initial graph that we did was... Uh, where they're both the same... Equal Same sides. diameter, yeah. Which happens <coughs> once in a blue moon. <laughs> well, you'd be using this technique to graft onto a, an existing tree that's already... If you're top working an existing tree, yes. Yes. So I've done, I usually try and get quite a thick tunnel this time. Yeah. Right. Sorry, you get it. Yeah. And then. And I usually just sort of. Give me a wedge. There you are. Nice. Oh, wow. You made this look far too easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why we've got all this for you to turn into shavings. And don't, you know, it usually takes a good hour or that. so of Can't just tell that whittling it's a grafted and <laughs> and nice. it's, I say it's a case of, <laughs> you, it is a skill, to, it's a skill and it takes time to learn. Uh -huh. So, you know, don't worry. The important thing is, <laughs> if you start Where's to, the graft to even? be concerned and worry about it. Right. <laughs> That's when uh, yeah, the expert. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, it you know, if you start yeah. getting all tense, you know, if I see you like this, yeah, I'll know you're tense and it's nice. no good. Just relax with really. it. Relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's perfect. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got some things to aspire to. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, the Very important nice thing to get to. <laughs> uh, well, I have been doing it for just the <laughs> odd year or two. Because, <laughs> you know, I was taught as a kid in the day, it, nice. in the days when. You know, I was given my knife when I was my fourth birthday. Oh, yeah. Wow. I think I was probably about seven or... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 I know. And now... You're giving a knife hard instead, aren't they? How, how, did, exactly. it come, how yeah. did it come about then? You were just, were it your family? Yes, you, yes. Right, yes, they were yes. already in, were in the... Yes, knew about yes. it, yeah? Yes, yes. Oh, no, it was just, you know, around me and you just... You know, it's just assumed you'll, uh, you yeah, know, you learn, you learn eat, eat soils the first couple of years and, <laughs> no, and then you'll start to learn to distinguish between the food and the weeds and then you'll learn to yeah. propagate. Yeah, super interesting. Things like that. Yeah, time. no, but as I say, the thing is, if you do find you're getting stressed, you'll go for a walk around, <laughs> forget it, and then come back. Lovely story.